Hi all, it is Nico Olaf again and in this tutorial we will see how we create screenshots from Google Earth and merge them together to create a seamless image. First we open Google Earth as you can see and uh, make screenshots uh, using the shortcut uh, Windows key plus print screen. Then you open your paint and paste your images. Move the target uh, horizontally or vertically and uh, make sure that there is uh, uh, adjacent parts of the images that uh, collide. Save the images again and move to the next one. Save them to a folder of your choosing. Just make sure they are in one folder. Yes, uh, you can see the images I created. Uh, I used two, mo two monitors, which means that some uh, cropping will be needed. Uh, since I created uh, 54 images, uh, it will be uh, time consuming to crop them one by one. So here I use the actions toolbar, which allows me to create a repetitive action, which will crop all of my images. You can uh, activate the actions toolbar by going to window actions. I just uh, created a new action and define it by cropping the, uh, the image, which is uh, around the image of the ones I previously created. Make sure that uh, no, no uh, uh, unnecessary information is shown on the image. Yes, that, that's uh, pretty good. Now uh, the program saved my crop uh, image file action and finally we saved the crop image to a different folder by the same name. We close the image and uh, we end the recording of our action. Now is the time to batch the whole image folder we created before. By choosing the action we just created, uh, it's, cut, uh, it's called cut two monitors. And uh, select the folder. Overwrite open and save button commands will uh, save us time because uh, every time the image is loaded it will not ask us where to save it. You can see the result, uh, all of the images are cropped. Now is the time to fall to merge. Uh, this is a dubious command uh, for uh, novice users. Uh, I suggest uh, using it the way I show here. Because uh, 54 images are too, uh, too many for it to work uh, uh, very in timely manner and correctly, I suggest you use uh, uh, them in portions of uh, 60, uh, of uh, 20 of 20 images and um, this will not only speed up uh, the process but also make it uh, understandable and uh, easier to merge them together later. Now you see that uh, I, I've made a, a little miss. Uh, intentionally or not, uh, uh, by leaving one screenshot. And uh, now I will show you how you can correct that 
<laughs> by not using uh, control plus z, uh, z. Uh, you go to your google google earth monitor and find the missing area then you print screen and uh, save the new images by giving them an uh, index so that you can uh, easily uh, see where they are next you cut uh, cut them the same way we did uh, before by using our action uh, cut to monitors don't forget to save them to another folder And uh, for the cropped images, you click the same folder as you, in which you saved your 54 images before. Now you photo merge them. Uh, the, the function photo merge uses the areas that are similar in um, adjacent images and uh, connects them. So make sure that you leave uh, enough shared uh, pixels between the screenshots. Don't try to be uh, uh, to be perfect and leave uh, everything in one image. Yes, this is the result. And just arrange the mixture of six images to find its place. A big word of caution uh, is uh, needed here. Uh, don't close Google Earth uh, at any time during this process. Uh, you may need it in situations like this. Now we just uh, photo merge the images from uh, 17 to 37 as I recommended by portions of 20. The option blend images together is uh, not necessary at all. You can either click it or not. Merge the images and uh, move them to the collection of 16 images that is on the other layer. Enlarge the canvas size by using the crop tool. And find the place for the um, for the big image using the move tool. Enlarge the canvas again to ensure that no content is left out. Finally, we merge the last portion of 20 minutes. Use the shift button to select all.
again merge the layers and move them to the collage we have built on the other document. Again, enlarge the canvas size. And uh, now we will just correct the sharp edge in the top left corner by adding some more print screen. Don't forget to save them to another folder as we did before with the filling of the blank rectangle. Again, use the batch tool to crop all the images and then photo merge the cropped images. Merge them and add them to the final collage. Crop the images to the sites and save the image as a PNG file or a GPEG file. Thanks for watching! I hope you will use these uh, tools in order to improve your architectural practice.